Hello there, welcome back to my tutorial. So today we will learn how to create checkboxes. So here I have created a small application uh, where it says buy cow, buy milk and wash cow. So the thing I have like programmed here is if I select buy cow, it uh, automatically checks wash cow and uh, disables buy milk uh, checkbox button because once we have cow, we don't need to buy milk from outside. We can just take it from her, right? That simple. So let's get started. For this, uh, we will be using a uh, external program. So it's called BEM checkbox. I will post the link in the description. So we will just uh, click this green button and say download zip. And I'm using Google Chrome. So where did it go? Okay. So if you click this, it automatically like unzips it and puts in a folder. So I'll get rid of this and here I have already created a new project. So first of all, I'll change this storyboard type to iPhone X. Output to iPhone X and let's open that thing up. So this is the folder uh, which got unzipped. So double click in it inside and here are a bunch of stuff inside it. From all of this stuff, we just need classes. So just drag and drop this folder inside your checkbox project folder and make sure this is selected and just uh, compare it and select whatever uh, it's here and hit finish. So if you click on this classes folder, which you just like transferred here, there is a bunch of .h and .m file. So people who don't know what uh, what this stuff is this is uh, code return in objective c so don't worry uh, we are creating project in swift and we will be creating something called header uh, which like bridges uh, objective c code to swift that is something what will happen under the hood so let's create a bridging header file so right click on your like right click on view controller and say new file select header file go next and name it check box header dot h okay make sure uh, to remember this name now go to your project uh, this blue icon go to build settings and over here search for compile uh, swift compiler okay and here you will see bunch of like different stuff so the one we need is this one which says swift compiler general i'll close other ones so under this uh, go uh, like on the second row which is objective c bridging header and click on middle uh, tab so under your name of the project okay and double click here and just first of all you will write your project name so it's exactly as it is okay Put a backslash and then you will write your header file, which is checkbox header dot h. So basically we are referencing the file. So and now let's build the application. Command B and it's building. So if it builds successfully, then we uh, you accomplish this series of tasks. If you did not build successfully, go back and repeat the steps. Okay, don't mess with names it will cause a problem this is my third take believe me so so the for one who got it successfully right let's hop over to main.storyboard and let's start coding uh no we need to do the designing part first so okay here is the iphone x and here i will drop in one view a normal view a ui view so a view and a label so a label okay label and it goes here so where is the view okay here is the view and let's give it a size of 50 by 50 okay it's a big one but it will look good and go go uh, go to identity inspector and uh, here start typing bem and you will see autocomplete and hit enter which is bem checkbox and you will see it turning into round and showing us the like checkbox so it's building and uh, we can see that so go to attribute inspector and under line width give it three and we will drag and drop this label over here close to this one increase the label size 
go all the way and name it let's say by cow and copy uh, like drag both of the items and hit command D which is for duplicate put it over here command D put it over here command D put it over here okay now let's say buy cow by Ferrari why not mm, buy cycle so if we bought Ferrari we don't need cycle and if we buy cow uh, we still need to buy bread doesn't matter it's irrelative but just to prove my point so let's give this two of them a different tint color so tint color let's do this so for this we will select a fill color which will be red and the tint color will be let's do orange okay and for this one tint color will be let's do orange and tick color check color will be let's do red and for this Ferrari thing let's do check color white and uh, uh, keep rest of them same okay so let's uh, go to the standard uh, this assistant editor I guess it's yep it's assistant editor and we will drag and drop all four of this uh, checkboxes so if you once again if you did not did the previous steps correctly you will not be able to do this part so anyways good luck so this will be by cow and we forgot one more part we'll just do it later so by car okay i am getting there okay what does it say error type we did it right bro okay so we forgot one part uh, yeah my bad <laughs> so go to this classes folder open this up and go to bem checkbox.m file and just uh, drag the first line the import one copy it go to your bridging header we just created get rid of this boilerplate code and paste it over here and command b once again and this should be working once more finally it should be working okay now it's working no more problems come on bro are you kidding me okay Su succeeded you succeeded so it's checkbox header let's go back to our project file search for where we missed it it's definitely it's definitely the name it's checkbox header checkbox header yeah, they look same what's the matter let's try referencing them all over again so let's see what happens now so I'll open this up once again and get rid of this both of the lines and reference from here as well so from here as well and let's try to connect them all over again and see what happens so this will be by cow connect and okay it worked this time so it was like swift problem i know how to do it so control drag this one this will be by car this one was i guess by cycle right by cycle and the last one was by bread okay a relative just putting it here to prove a point and uh, we did all this stuff but we forgot one more thing select uh, the icons over here and we need to give each of them a separate tag so let buy cow be one buy ferrari be two and buy cycle be three and buy bread be four so that we can reference them okay so for now for instance let me show you a couple of stuff so under view did load we will say buy cow uh no let's say by by car dot on not on not on is equal to true 
so buy car will be uh, by default on so it will be ticked automatically and uh, let's disable the buy bread icon so buy bread dot is enabled and turn it to false and let's run the application and see what we created and this is my previous application so don't mind so this is our buy ferrari which is already ticked and here it's like some cool little animation for buy bread we cannot select we can select this buy cycle thing we can select buy cow so let's uh, let's know how uh, let's know when the uh, checkbox is clicked so we can create events on that right so yes you are right we need delegate method of our checkbox so over here say bem delegate and hit enter and under rooted load we will assign each of them our delegate so by uh, let's do for car now but it will be similar for each and uh, every checkbox you have so don't forget to assign delegate method over here and the delegate method which we are looking for is date cap which is asking for checkbox hit enter so right uh, right now what we will do is if uh, let's get rid of this uh, stuff we already did so if the user has bought cow he does not need to buy bread and let's do that so and he so let's say if a user buys a ferrari he gets cow free and he does not need to buy bread so if checkbox dot tag is equal to two so uh, so second one was like buy car so now we already got a cow free so it will be checkbox okay not checkbox it will be buy cow dot on equal to true and we will disable buy bread icon so buy bread dot is enabled is equal to false okay so let's run this and if you tap like okay so let's do buy cow okay individually they all are good so now if i tap buy ferrari it automatically selects buy cow and i cannot buy bread anymore because i don't need to because i own a ferrari so uh, there are a bunch of other uh, operations you can perform so let's say by by cycle dot animation and here are a bunch of stuff which we can do so let's say on animation type and this part is enum so if you just hit dot you will get the options uh, i like this animation which is one stroke which is like quite amazing so for one last time let's run the application and see how it looks and by cycle because that's what programmers write okay programmers don't buy ferraris they buy cycles and that's how cool is this library is so if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and Please subscribe for future videos.